about uh, about mid thigh deep of water, and I can I got an 89 to a 90 signal. Only time I get an 89 to a 90 signal is when it's a good bigger type of silver ring. It's not very deep, so let me uh, let me just leave this live and I'm gonna scoop this together. See if we can find it. Here. I, I can see it. Let me just see if I can find it one more time. All right, here we go. everybody I'm on uh, my day off I'm headed out to the lakes getting a late start today um, I just was tired I just didn't get up and get out there so the early bird usually gets the worm so I'm going to just get the leftovers today probably unless uh, no one's hit the lake so I'm going to go to the one near my house and see what I can come up with and hopefully I'll find a couple of good things it seems like there's something there like every other day uh, just kind of have to go slow and listen to all the signals and then uh, there's two more lakes along the same path here along this highway from about seven miles from me to about 35 miles away and I call it the trio and uh, I may just hit the trio just boom 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 and see what I can come up with and then maybe in the morning get an early start and go out and hit some lakes tomorrow but uh, don't forget uh, somewhere along this video it's going to be a trivia question. It could be here at the beginning. It could be at the middle. It could be at the very end. It could be in between a scoop cam shot. You just never know when I'm going to be doing a a, uh, a giveaway, a trivia question. And so on the trivia question, the first one who answers it correctly uh, will receive a Preacher Digger sticker. And who knows? I'm going to throw in a surprise in there. I'm not, it could be something big. Could be something little you just never know but you'll have to watch the video all the way through to catch it all right well i've got about 10 minutes to get to the lake and uh, i'll see you guys out in the water made it out here to the lake this is the one that's close by my house i'm gonna hunt here for about an hour or so see what it come up with if i don't find anything within the first 30 45 minutes i'm probably just gonna load up head on down to uh, lake number two and uh, see what we come up with so let's jump in see what we find Well, in my last video, I showed you a, a dog tag that said to my husband. This one says to my son. So I wonder if a mother gave one to her husband and he lost it, and the son gave, uh, she gave her to, to, his son, to her son, and she, he lost his too. I found this one on this side, and I found the other one on the other side, out in about five foot of water. This is about waist deep of water. Hey, I'll take it. Nice little thing to my son. Love mom. All right. Let's keep on going. First target, I've dug a pull tab and I've dug some other little trash, but this is the first uh, real good target out here. I've been out here about 10 minutes, so just kind of killing time today, see what I can come up with. All right, let's keep on going. Well, I got that uh, dog tag just right in the same area, so I started listening for the chain. And chains ring up real erratic and uh, I was getting a 55 to a 59 to a 60 signal and it's kind of a long signal so I figured that would be the chain and sure enough it was a, a silver chain that's what that uh, dog tag came off of all right that's my second target about 20 minutes here all right this means there's some targets out here and I haven't even got to my favorite spot to hunt yet I'm just over here on the side so uh, let's keep it we know that there's some stuff out here all right let's keep on going of the uh, swim area and I've got a 79 to a 81 it was jumping around because there's a key and a stainless steel chain and a uh, aluminum heart says I love you on it and so uh, that's why it was jumping around real good signal though hey somebody lost their key and lost their heart so maybe I can find out who it was all right let's keep on going out here about uh, five foot of water and uh, got a 48 49 real static er erratic signal 
end up being a, a gold chain. I'll take that. All right, let's see if we can find the necklace part on it. Let's keep on going. Well, I didn't find anything but that gold chain at the last lake, so I'm gonna come out to this one lake. It's clearing out a little bit, and see what I come up with. All right, let's get in the water. Let's see what we find. Well, I'm working this uh, about waist deep to mid thigh deep and uh, got a 74. It's a little copper ring. And so uh, that's a good find. All right, let's keep on looking for that silver or that gold. Maybe we'll get that. Let's keep on going. Coming about, uh, about mid thigh deep of water. And I can, I got an 89 to a 90 signal. The only time I get an 89 to a 90 signal is when it's a good, bigger type of silver ring. It's not very deep. So let me uh, let me just leave this live and come down there and scoop this together and see if we can find it here. I, I can see it. Let me just see if I can find it one more time. All right, here we go. It's a big silver ring, wasn't it? I kind of had to come out here in the deep water and get away from some people. But uh, I could see it on the ground there. Once I kicked the sand around, it was ringing 89.90. And, uh, and Preacher Digger got his cross. He got a cross in a big old silver ring. How about that? How about that? That's pretty nice. Ringing up 89 to 90. That's beautiful. All right, that's a copper ring and a silver ring out here at this lake. I got a couple chains and stuff at the other lake. And uh, we'll see what else we can get. Everybody's starting to clear out of the pool now, so I'm starting to get up in the more shallow. I found that real shallow. The uh, copper ring was a little bit deeper, about mid-waist. All right, let's keep on swinging. Still got some daylight. All right, I'm happy. Got a big old silver cross ring. All right, let's keep going with a heart. Well, that wraps, wraps it up for this lake. This is lake number two. I'll try to hit another lake later on this week. And uh, I'm going to hunt for the gold ring. I haven't got but one gold ring this year. And... Uh, a lot of silvers and a lot of other types, but not. I want a gold, a big gold. That's my. That's what I'm going for. So I'll see you at the next uh, lake. I'll see you in the water. Back out to the next lake. I'm the first one out here. I don't see any marks that people's been out here on the water. Look how calm the water is. Oh, it is just calm as can be. It's hot as it can be. So maybe there's some rings out here. Let's go get in the water and let's find out. Right, now, didn't find anything at the other swim area, just the air ring, pair of glasses and a bunch of pull tabs. So we're gonna try this one and then we're gonna head back in and hunt the lake down near my house one more time, see what we come up with. So let's cross our fingers. Let's hope there's something out here. Let's get in the water. Well, I moved on from that other lake. Uh, didn't find anything but some quarters and nickels, and uh, that's about it. It was pretty clean. But I'm gonna come back out here to this other lake where, in my last video, I found a couple of rings and a necklace, and uh, see what I got here. Then hit the lake, go into my house uh, next to my house on the way home, and we'll see what we get. Hopefully, we'll get something to show you guys. So let's get in the water. didn't find really anything but that earring and that uh, token 
came to the third lake that's close to my house, the lake that's really been paying off for me. And I've been out here maybe 10 minutes at tops. I'm about waist deep water. Got an 88 signal and got a good, nice silver ring right there. That's going to clean up really good, be good. All right, it's been kind of the last couple of lakes I've gone to, like, the, like one, two, three, four, maybe like five or six holes. I haven't found anything really. But uh, hey, I'll take a silver ring any day. All right. That uh, means that nobody's been out here, so let's keep on looking. Maybe I'll find some more. Let's keep going. Well, I'm headed out to the lake today, but as I promised, I've been trying to throw a trivia question in uh, my videos here. And the first one that can answer the question correctly is going to win a Preacher Digger sticker. It may be something else uh, that I may throw in there. So uh, in this video, here's the trivia question. I've traveled to a lot of countries and did some detecting, but there's one country that I go to every year. And just in the last two years, I've been doing some metal detecting at the country, in this country. And this past uh, month, I would say back in June of 2020 here, I actually did my first water hunt in this country. What country was I in? The first one that can answer that in the comments below correctly will win that sticker and possibly something else. All right, good luck everybody. Well, I'm out here in about uh, mid chest deep water and I've got a, if you can, you might can hear it through my headphones. I've got a 7072. Um, that's usually a ring, and in, in my experience, a 7072. It could be a junk ring, or it could be a, uh, like a tungsten ring. They usually ring up in the high 60s, low 70s. Um, even a big man's gold ring will ring up as a 72, uh, but it has a real good, consistent sound. This is a real, this is a real choppy sound. So let me spin you around. Let's try to live this, dig this together. Let me just spin you around the ship down here, and we'll. Get A shiny it's not stainless it's gonna be uh, can't really I think it's tungsten carbide it's gonna be tungsten or tungsten carbide one of the two hey that's nice that's usually where you find these types of rings are out here in the deep because they're real slick on the inside and when your hands get to wet they shrink and then they get slippery and the ring is slippery and so these men's rings are heavy these tungstens are real heavy so they just come right off so I called that one. Good live dig. All right, let's keep on going. I've been out here about uh, maybe about an hour. There's another fellow detectorist out here with me, and uh, he I don't think he's found anything yet. I haven't found anything either. This is my first target, actually. I've dug some pull tabs, and that's about it. So let's keep on going and see what else we can get. this county lake and I jumped the buoy. I'm about six feet on the other side of the buoy you can see right there. Not supposed to be over here but it's part of the old swimming area. I knew that when I was a little kid. I used to come here and I knew that the swimming area was a little bit further over and uh, got a nice silver ring. Ring it up as an 86, 87, 88 jumping around because it wasn't connected there on the top. It's a horseshoe ring. I've dug one of these before and uh, they are vintage rings. They were real popular back in the 70s, 1970s, when I was just a kid. But anyway, I'll take that. That's two rings, and that's all I, that's all I found. A bunch of bottle caps, pull tabs. But uh, we'll keep on going, see what else we can find. All right, let's keep on going. Well, that's going to be it for me. I've spent about two hours out here. Found a lot of pull tabs, but I did get that one tungsten or tungsten carbide ring, and did get that silver ring. So that's good. It's been a good trip and a good video. 
and uh, I think I'm going to head in and lay everything out and show you the wrap up all that I found so I'll see you at the wrap up all right some burning all I made it home I was gonna go to one more lake but I decided not to just not gonna do it I'm I'm burned I'm tired I've this video I've hit a lot of lakes um, and same lake several times over and uh, but it pays off to be persistent and uh, find the stuff that I find I wish I could say I could go to one lake and I find it all there but I don't I've gone to oh I don't know one two three four I know of at least five lakes and I know I've gone to one lake at least three times and another lake twice and uh, so yeah but persistent pays off because I found a lot of good stuff on this video and uh, so let me spin you around let me show you what I got all right here are my finds uh, again I'm hunting with the AT Pro uh, hunting on uh, pro custom mode uh, discrimination at 30 and my sensitivity down one bar and uh, hunting with a small coil because it fits in perfect with my uh, scoop cam and my scoop there and so here are the finds uh, I did find an old jungle hat you're wondering how I found that it's because there are, is a little bit of metal there I actually got found that and scooped it up with my coil and picked it up and uh, so that's a nice little find I may put that to use wash it there's all my aluminum cans aluminum foil I threw some of it away I keep all my trash for the whole year in here and I'll set it out and make a video later on at the end of summer. All my fishing got tackle. Here's my nails and I actually found this uh, fingernail clipper that I found last in the last video. I found actually a part of that. All my pull tabs and all my bottle caps, all my aluminum caps, my jewel that I found. Here is a Mighty Mint and I uh, did find one pair of glasses couple of uh, glass frames and a pair of goggles I found the goggles with uh, that I stepped on these and so somebody must have lost it anyway here is the treasures I've got 5 10 15 24 pennies I was digging a lot of nickel signals to get into that gold uh, ring I just couldn't find one so I got seven nickels seven dimes and we've got uh, 12 quarters three dollars and quarters I did find a 50 cent piece and what's ironic about this 50 cent piece is in the lake that I found it in I'm the one that actually threw this in the lake about four years ago at a club hunt we were doing a water hunt I threw in 30 silver rings and a bunch of clad half dollars and I can't believe as much as that lake has been hunted we've never found that but it was ringing up like a 90 91 and man I thought I had a big silver ring but end up just being a 50 cent piece oh, oh well a couple of toys I got a nice little emoji uh, winking uh, ring Got a Crayola token, and uh, I've got uh, a couple of studs and one, two, three loop earrings. I got a nice stainless steel chain with "I Love You" heart and a key on it. Uh, I bet someone's missing that key. I found it in about waist deep water, and uh, so also found this chain. It's a 925 chain. I thought it was actually going to be a stainless chain, but it's 925. I found a lot of those here lately, and this is my second one, in my, I got one in my last video. And in my last video, I got one of these tags that says, To My Loving Husband, or To My Husband. And this one I got to my son. I wonder if it's the same family, but I found them on opposite end of the lake. Same lake, but on opposite ends. And uh, anyway, I like these things. Alright, here are my rings. I got one copper ring here. Got one nice, very nice uh, tungsten carbide ring. Being out here in the sun, these things are heating up too. Got three silver rings this time around. Got a, I got that one this morning. Horseshoe ring. I don't know if you put it that way or the other way. I've dug one of these before, and uh, those are vintage from the 70s. Uh, another nice uh, sterling ring. That's going to clean up real nice and shine up really good. I'll try to do some before and after pics. And but the best ring I got is this James Avery heart cross ring. Preacher Digger always likes to get his heart, that way it makes it an episode, and I got my heart this time. Not in a, not in a piece of jewelry as a, as a jewelry heart cross by, a cross by itself, but as a heart cross here. James Avery ring, it's about an $80 ring. Blew my ears off, it was ringing up as a 89 or 90 or 91, something like that. It's really nice, I like that. And so, three silvers, one tungsten carbide and one copper this time around. So I got a good selection of stuff. Went out to about five different lakes. Same lake, uh, one lake I went about three different times to. 
And so it's not all out of one lake. It's a lot of traveling and trying to get all this stuff to make a good video. But here's the trash. And here's all the treasures. Like I always say, the greatest treasure is not what's sitting on a tailgate that you can make a video about. The greatest treasure is sitting up in heaven, my friend. And uh, keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to say happy hunting. And God bless.